Hello dear students, welcome to my channel. So, today I am going to discuss MCQs on defense mechanisms. Okay. So, already defense mechanism already I have discussed in my previous lecture. Okay. So, before you watch this video, just please watch this defense mechanism video lecture so that you will understand this uh, about this uh, defense mechanism very easily. Okay. So, please all of you listen carefully and watch the video till the end. Okay. So, let's begin with the MCQs on defense mechanisms. These are very important MCQs. So, first we will start with the question number one. Question number one, what it says? A patient who abuses alcohol and cocaine tells the nurse that he only uses substance because of his stressful marriage and difficult job. Which defense mechanisms is this patient is using? Okay. Here, a patient abuses alcohol. He uses alcohol and cocaine. Tell the nurse that, that he only uses a substance because of his stressful marriage and difficult job. Okay, and which defense mechanism patient is using here? So here patient is having a maladaptive behavior that is a uh, he uses alcohol and he uses a cocaine. Okay, and he is citing a reason for his maladaptive behavior that is a, is the reason for his maladaptive behavior is a stressful marriage and a difficult job. Okay, so he is giving the rash, rational or a reason for his maladaptive behavior. So this we are going to see in uh, not in the displacement, not in the projection, not in the sublimation. It is in the rationalization. Okay. So displacement means you so you know that uh, the person will displaces his anger and uh, frustration onto the weak person or a less threatened person. So that is displacement. And projection means here the person uh, whatever his fault and mistakes he will put onto the other. He will blame other person for his mistakes and the faults. So that is projection. Sublimation means here he, uh, the person uh, who is in a who, who expresses a anger or stress or the frustration. He will channelize into a social acceptable manner. Okay, so that is nothing but a sublimation. So here, these are the not the answer correct answer, and correct answer for this one is rationalization. Okay, so now, now let us discuss about the question number two: rechanneling, rechanneling of social unacceptable drives into more constructive activities. Okay, so here the person is rechanneling of social unacceptable drives. Okay, social unacceptable drives are channeled into more constructive activities. Okay, so constructive activities means he is not destructive, he is a constructive. Constructive means he is using the positive defense mechanisms. Okay, so here we will see positive, positive projection is not a positive defense mechanisms. Here the person will destroy his relationship. These are the destructive. Projection is destructive and displacement is also he will destroy his relationship by challenging it to a weaker section or a less threatening section. This is also destructive. This is also destructive and hallucination is not a defense mechanisms here. Hallucination is a false perception without a external stimuli. So sublimation. Sublimation is a one which is a positive defense mechanism which is usually constructive, which will not destroy the relationship and it's a healthy defense mechanism. So that is a constructive. So whatever the social unacceptable drive, he will convert it into socially constructive activities. Okay. And he will uh, he'll challenge it into socially acceptable manner. Okay. So that is the reason why it is not a projection, not the hallucination. And now the displacement it is a sublimation is the correct answer. Okay. Next question number three, which theory explains well about the defense mechanisms? Okay. First one is psychoanalytical theory, psychosexual theory, psychosocial theory, cognitive development theory, and psychoanalytical theory. Okay. So psychosexual theory it is uh, described by the Sigmund Freud. It uh, tells about the sexual development of human being. And psychosocial theory it is been explained by Erickson. Okay. Erickson psychosocial theory it uh, explains about the Social development of human being and cognitive development theory. This is explained by the Jean Piaget. Okay, this will it will explain about the cognitive development of human being and psychoanalytical theory. It is again explained by the Sigmund Freud. It explains about the uh, human behavior. Okay, so this is the one which will tell us about the defense mechanism. The defense mechanisms. Okay, the theory which explains about the defense mechanism is the psychoanalytical theory. Okay, dear students, let's continue with the question number four. Question number four, who introduced a four level classification of defense mechanisms? Option A, Sigmund Freud. Option B, Anna Freud. Option C, George Eamon Weiland. Option D, Robert Pultich. So, Sigmund Freud has discovered or introduced defense mechanism, but not a four level classification defense mechanism. Not Anna Freud and not a Robert Pultich. It is George Eamon Weiland who has introduced a four level classification of defense mechanisms. Let us see. What is that one? Okay, so violent have this classified four level 
categorization of defense mechanisms okay level 1 that is a pathological what are the defense mechanism comes under the pathological level 1 that is a denial projection and delusion delusional delusion is nothing but a false fixed belief okay next level 2 immature defense mechanisms what are the things comes here fantasy and passive aggressions and level 3 defense mechanism that is neurotics in that one reaction formation intellectualization displacement repressions and dissociation okay all these we have discussed in our defense mechanism topics so these are the defense mechanism that comes under the level 3 that is neurotic defense mechanism and level 4 that is a mature defense mechanisms what are the defense mechanisms comes into the, in, the, in this one humor sublimation and altruisms okay so altruism nothing but a, it is a constructive services that gives satisfaction to a person okay so once the person who is involved in the services which gives satisfaction to him that is known as a altruism okay so this is all about the violent four level classification of defense mechanisms okay so what is the right answer for these questions it is a george Heyman Wilde who has classified the four level classification of defense mechanisms now let us see question number fifth that is a question number fifth level one of violent categorization of defense mechanisms include which type of defense okay so they have asked level 1 violent classification of okay level 1 violent classification of a defense mechanism include which type of defense level 1 okay so we have seen so level 1 is a pathological level 2 is immature level 3 is neurotic and level 4 defense mechanism is a mature defense mechanism okay so they ask level 1 so it is a pathological okay so level 2 is a immature level 3 is a neurotic level 4 is a mature one okay so it is a pathological defense mechanism this so we will see now a 30 year old lady started crying uh, seeing an injection needle which defense mechanism she is using okay so when she is a needle okay she started crying okay so it's not a rep repression a repression means involuntarily forgetting the stressful situation so that is not a right answer yet projection means blaming other for one's own fault so this is also not correct answer sublimation means rationalizing the frustration and anger into Social acceptable manner that is also not correct answer. Regression. Okay. So regression means whenever a person faces an anxiety or anxiety producing situations, he will, he will go back to his previous life and stay fixed in that position. Okay. So that is what happened here. 30 year old lady, she is an adult, okay. But she saw, started crying like a children when she sees an injection needle. So that is nothing but a, she goes back to his previous life, uh, like a childish behavior he'll do, she started crying. So that means she is using a regression defense mechanisms okay so this is a what is the right answer for this one is regression is a right answer okay so let's continue with the next okay students let's see another question that is question number seven constructive service to others that brings pleasure and personal satisfaction is termed as okay so the person who does some service to others and gets pleasure and satisfaction is termed as okay so it is not obviously so not sublimations option a is wrong answer option b is also wrong answer ego satisfactions is it is not it is not a right answer repression you know that repression is nothing but a involuntary forgetting the stressful situation this is this is also not right answer and altruism so this is the right answer so in altruism what happens here a constructive service when a person does service to others and he gets a pleasure and satisfaction in doing service to the others is a known as altruism okay so this is a right answer now let us see question number eight posing one's own weakness to others is which type of difference we can see okay here the person is doing a uh, mistakes okay he himself has a certain weaknesses for that he is blaming blaming others okay he is imposing on others okay and blaming others so this is which type of mechanism okay difference mechanism so it is a projection okay so we have already discussed Projection is a defense mechanism in which person blames for his own weaknesses and uh, faults. Okay, and intellectualization means the person keeps the stressful uh, uh, situations by using the intellectual component. So this is not a right answer. Regression means whenever person exposed to the anxiety producing situation, he will go back to the previous life and fix to that one. That is a regression. And displacement means anxiety, anger, and frustrations are displaced from uh, high threatened uh, a situation to the less threatened person okay that is nothing but a displacement so the answer for this one is projection okay
नेक्स्ट वन इज क्वेश्चन नंबर नाइन इन वॉलेंट्री ब्लॉकिंग ऑफ अनप्लेजेंट फीलिंग एंड एक्सपीरियंसिस फ्रॉम वन कॉन्सियस अवेयरनेस इज नॉन एस ओके Here the person is involuntary, unconsciously blocking unpleasant feeling, unpleasant feeling or anxiety producing situation. He is blocking that is unconsciously. Okay, what is that? And the feeling side experiences he is blocking. Okay, so one's own conscious he is not he is uh, unconsciously is blocking the uh, anxiety producing situations and feelings or experiences. So that defense mechanism is not a displacement. It's not the it is a repression okay not a regression and a suppression okay in the repression what happens here the person will unconsciously forget the anxiety producing situations or the any feelings or experiences which are unpleasant the our mind unconsciously forget that one that is nothing but a repression so the right answer for this one is a repression so these were the few questions i have selected from the defense mechanisms okay so if you like this video please uh press a like button if you are the first time visitor please uh, subscribe to the channel and uh, press a bell icon okay and share to others as well okay so thank you thank you very much for watching the video thank you.